process of growing rootstock in such a way that you are able to harvest every season again and again from the one original plant. I began in midwinter with two one-year-old MM102 apple rootstocks purchased from a local grower and planted them into two medium-sized pots. As winter ended and the trees began to wake up, I cut them down at ground level. Over time, they started to send up new shoots, which I allowed to grow to just under a foot tall. Next, I took two pots with a slightly smaller diameter and chopped the bottom out. I placed the pots around the shoots and filled it in with sawdust. It is important to make sure the sawdust is from clean and natural timber. Over the summer and autumn, I simply allowed the trees to grow as they normally would, making sure I watered when needed. It is imperative that you keep the sawdust damp and don't let it dry out. The sawdust tricks the roots into thinking they are still underground. Because it is so loose and damp, the root system easily establishes itself and becomes quite vigorous. After a year of growing, winter set in and the trees went to sleep. Once all the leaves had dropped, I started to harvest my work. The first step is to completely remove the rings from the pots. Be careful not to damage the rootstock as you do it. Secondly, remove all the sawdust from around the root system. As you do, you will notice that you now have a healthy and vigorous set of roots growing out in all directions. Separate the plants and cut them at ground level with a set of secateurs. As this is the first year for these rootstock beds, we only ended up with two plants each. But as the years go on, you may find that five or six or even more shoots will grow year after year. Repeat the process for the second stooling bed. You are now left with the beginnings of next year's rootstock. In some cases, it may or may not have already sent up new shoots. Your rootstock is now ready to use. You may decide to cut it down to about a foot high and graft an apple variety onto it straight away. But in this case, I am planting them all out to be bud grafted with different varieties I have growing in my orchard later in the season. This last rootstock growing here was from a cutting of the original rootstock. It was the only one out of 10 cuttings that took and continued to grow. It was planted out in this small pot and grew to just over a metre high, which is pretty impressive considering it came from a 15 centimetre cutting. The big question is, did it establish a root system? There have been many instances in the past where a cutting has grown and appears to be healthy, only to suddenly die and upon inspection reveal that no root system had existed at all. Well, it looks like it has, yes. I'm very happy about that. That was just cut and planted directly into soil with no agents, no help from anything at all. And that is very healthy. I'm very happy with that. So I'm gonna plant this out alongside the others and see how we go.